I genuinely feel like men that do stuff like this are absolutely diabolical and they will not see heaven. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amalmi aka Petit Diva and in this video we are discussing pranks between couples when they are in a relationship. Now, we're discussing if pranks in a relationship is okay and what type of pranks can partners play on each other in the relationship now before we continue this video i just want to inform you guys that you can now be a member of this channel now to be a member of this channel you just have to click on the join button that's beside the subscribe button below um it involves paying a certain amount of money but there are different perks for each level and uh, you can get um, early access to videos you can get to view members only videos or members only short and so much more um, as we progress in the channel membership uh, i'll be having more perks like uh, members only live stream uh, members only giveaway members only pose and the rest so if you want to be a member of this channel just um, click on the join button i would also leave the link in the comment section so you can join if you want to be a member of this channel now let's get into this video now this video is inspired by a particular video that a creator made now she shared um a prank that uh baby daddy played on her and um it was quite interesting y'all this is embarrassing i wasn't sure that i was going to share this with y'all but i'm gonna do it anyway so y'all know april fools just passed right anyway me and my baby daddy we've been together for like two years a couple of days ago i came home from work i go to the bedroom and i look on the bed and there's like this sexy dress just laying on the bed the dress was blue my favorite color but anyways there's a note card laying on a dress so i grab it and i open it and it says, just because you're so beautiful to me and I love you. So I was like, okay, baby daddy, go ahead, show out. <laughs> Anyways, I get a text saying, did you see the dress yet? I text back, I said, yes, love, I seen the dress. I really like it. Thank you very much. And blue is my favorite color. You knew that. So he told me to get dressed and meet him at this restaurant. I'm like, this is first time doing this? What's the special occasion? But anyways, I get in the shower, I put the dress on, I do my hair. I got in the car, he sent me the directions, and I'm on my way. So I get to the restaurant, right, and it is fancy. I'm talking about they got them people where you pull up and they take your car and they park it for you, okay? I don't know what that's called because I ain't never been to a festive restaurant, so don't get on here shading me, okay? <laughs> but anyway, as I walk in, he greets me at the door. And he takes my hand and he leads me to the table, okay? He pulls out my seat for me. And I got this big, goofy-looking smile on my face. I'm blushing like we just first met or something. He said, you can get whatever you want on the menu. I'm like, ah! So we sat down, we ate, we talked, whatever, we laughing. And I was like, babe, what's the special occasion? You ain't never did this for me. So he said, I'm glad you asked me that. Y'all, he pulled something out his pocket. He got down on one knee. I'm sitting there like, oh my God, what is happening? At this point, everybody is turning around looking at us. Tears is about to roll down my face, okay? So as I'm looking at him, I'm just getting excited. I'm getting overwhelmed all in one. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what I've finally been waiting for. So he's holding the small box in his hand. And he's telling me how much he loves me, how much he loved being with me. He loved that I gave him a child and all of that. And I'm just sitting there geeking, honey. Do you hear me? Y'all, tell me why when he opened the box, it's a ring pop. Candy. And he says, April Fool's. What? The first thing I did was knock that little bitty box out his hand. And then I look up, everybody turning their heads like they ain't see nothing. I'm getting up about to leave the restaurant. He's sitting there laughing hard. Talking about some bae. It's funny. It's funny. I ain't find nothing funny. Guess what? When he came home that night, I wasn't there. I slept at my mom's house. And he was blowing up my phone talking about some bae. I'm sorry. It was supposed to be funny. You know our humor. Our humor? Baby, I bet you he blew my phone up all night. And I ain't texting back not one time. Play with me again like that. 
And this lady gave a story time of how our baby daddy bought a lovely dress in her favorite color and I told her to dress up and then they went to a fancy restaurant. She was like, oh, he has never done this before. Um, she has been dating the guy for like two years and they have a child and he had never done that before so she was like really feeling herself it was a very fancy restaurant with uh valet and the rest he was acting like a gentleman he was drawing out the chairs for her just being attentive to her telling her to order what she wants and everything then after they have eaten and they were talking he now um went down on one knee and was talking and everybody was looking at them he brought out a box and then when it was time to open the box it was a ring pop a candy and um she was so angry she was like what is that every other person in the um, restaurant that was looking at them and thinking oh there's a proposal coming up and everything just did as if no they didn't see what was going on so she was embarrassed but our baby daddy was laughing and thinking oh it's very funny it's a good prank and everything she eventually left the restaurant she was angry and she went to stay with her mom and the guy started calling her and was apologizing and saying that oh it's a funny prank that he thought she would laugh because they have a particular sense of humor anyway people had a lot of things to say about the video about the prank that a baby daddy played on her tell me why when he opened the box it's a ring pop bro had the perfect opportunity to give you what you want and proposed to you he was this close to making you happy and he chose the motherfucking making an april fool's joke the father of your kids could have made you his wife right he went through the troubles of getting you a dress of your favorite color booking a restaurant a fancy restaurant with valet telling you you can order what you want pulling out a, a fake ring all right listen that he went through all that trouble to embarrass you in front of all those people at the restaurant all right now april fool's joke he he ha uh, april fool's joke should be funny it should be a joke right and it shouldn't embarrass anybody but he embarrassed you he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't respect you okay we always talk about women respecting men but men need to respect the women too okay he does not respect you leave his ass all right because that's not a funny joke at all <laughs> you feel me that's not funny at all like he played with your emotions he made you feel good just to tear you down right he put you up here just to bring you down real fast it's not it's not cool it's not okay i genuinely feel like men that do stuff like this are absolutely diabolical and they will not see heaven so i just saw a video of this woman she was talking about how her man slash baby daddy told her that he had this really special surprise for her and he wanted her to be all dolled up so he actually bought her a dress he got her nails done and all of that told her to be ready at a certain time he was going to take her to this really nice fancy restaurant so she gets all dressed up does her hair does her makeup all of that but she he won't tell her what the special occasion is she goes to the restaurant the place is super fancy and they're sitting down to eat and she's just like i just want to thank you for all of this but what is all of this really about and he's like you know what glad you ask so then he stands up he drops down to one knee pulls a ring box out of his pocket he's giving her this long speech about how he loves her how he appreciates her how she's the mother of his child all that she's done for him but when he opens the ring box it's a ring pop now he got the attention of everybody in the restaurant but when they saw the ring pop they all turned around because they realized that it was a prank after a woman has been with you for years had your child been there for you loved you cherished you honored you and you think that it's funny to pretend that you want to marry this woman i feel like men who do stuff like this have a humiliation kink or humiliation fetish this kind of mocking and humiliation shows a huge lack of respect for her to me it also shows that he knows exactly what she needs and wants from him but he thinks it's hilarious that she thinks she'll ever get it y'all this is embarrassing i wasn't sure that i was going to share this with y'all but i'm gonna do it anyway this story right here is a prime example of get all sides of the story first before getting all mad. So after listening to that story about how her baby daddy had to straight up prank her in front of everybody with a proposal. Child, I was pissed. I was like, who the fuck? What the fuck? I had to go get a fucking update because I was like, I know system broke up with that man because ain't 
wait in hell no uh-uh i know she broke up with that man so i'll go down the rabbit hole um just to find out sis had not pranked this man last fucking year she made this man believe that they baby was not they baby it went so far that this man had to go get a dna test just to find out that that baby was his Now, I'm on homeboy side here. Now I see. Because I was like, why the fuck would a human being sit there, do all that extra shit? I mean, like, well thought out motherfucking plan. And to do that shit in front of everybody? Oh, man. But now I see that man had a fucking motive. That man was getting you back. I do not, I do not blame that man. Now, sis... Honestly, you should have just told us that side of the story first and then told us this side of the story. So then we won't be having no half-ass fucking conversations going on right now. Because now, you know, I'm like, damn, homeboy is a fucking genius. Do you hear me? I would have got your ass back too. Because, but man, the way he did that shit <laughs> with a ring pop. <laughs> oh my God, with a fucking ring pop. Oh my God. But now, you know, now this is, this is a prime example though, for real, of get all sides of the story first before even judging. Cause man, I, I definitely was like, I know she broke up with that man. But just to find out what she did to that man. Oh, I understand that man. I'm on his side. But y'all are toxic. Y'all are funny. Oh my gosh. Now, a lot of people were calling out baby daddy. They were so annoyed with him. They felt that it was a rubbish prank for him to play. They thought it was very embarrassing to her. It was not something he was supposed to have done, especially in a very fancy restaurant. They felt he was really like calculated and um, he just did not want to be with her. He does not really like her. Anyway, um, personally, when I was listening to her tell the story, I was just like, this is rubbish. This is nonsense. What do you mean? Like, he was so meticulous and uh, doing everything, like uh, a nice dress in a favorite color, everything, taking her to the fancy restaurant. Now, that part got me like, excuse me, when she said this is the first time he was doing something like that, and you've been dating the guy for like two years you have a child together and he has never like taking you to a fancy restaurant has never like spent money and the first time he spends the money and does all that it's for him to play a prank um, it was annoying it, to, to just listen it was annoying i felt like that was just a nonsense prank now i'm one person that feel like couples can prank each other can joke with each other that it helps to add the element of fun into your relationship so you're not always serious all the time but there are some pranks that you don't try and that one is one of it it was embarrassing her in public and in a place where everybody is supposed to be prim and proper and gentlemanly and princessly and you are playing that kind of prank and laughing from what she said even the other guests did not find it funny it was like a, they were embarrassed for her it was like secondhand embarrassment Personally, if I was there, I would just be like, oh, I would be so angry and I would allow him to hear. So what sort of stupid nonsense is that? But the thing is that I understand why people just did as if they did not say anything. Because first of all, you don't know the dynamics of their um, relationship. She might have been someone that would not take offense to it. So if you even want to bring your own emotions to it, it'd be like a sentiment. It'd be like, um, it's none of your business. So I guess why I understand why they just did as if they did not say anything. For me, oh, I would have said such something under my breath. And if he hears, he hears. If he doesn't hear, that's his business. Um, but I, I, I just thought it was too embarrassing for him to do in a fancy restaurant outside uh, do anywhere outside now if he wants to do the prank even though i don't like the prank he could have done it in the house maybe record it and if she wants to put it on social media platform that's their business but i just felt like he was not supposed to have done that kind of nasty prank outside it made it worse the prank itself is not a nice prank but he made it worse by doing all that he did 
and then doing it in a fancy restaurant however later i found out that she had played a prank on him where she said that he was not the father of a child and the guy even had to do a dna test just to verify that he is the father of their child and i do not like that that's like there's some things you don't play with i don't understand both of them like why did she think that was a good prank to play on him for goodness sake especially if it's someone that really values their child it can be very devastating and in be thinking oh did she cheat on me or something that prank was not a good prank to play on anybody it it was an expensive prank and it was a distasteful prank so i was like why are the two of them like that no wonder he said oh i thought you'll find it funny based on our sense of humor both of them they should stop pranking each other because apparently they don't know what is a funny light-hearted prank and what should not be used as a prank because the prank that she did to him was not it and the prank that he did to her was not it now maybe my sense of humor is very low or i don't have a sense of humor but i do not appreciate both pranks i think that if you're going to prank each other just make it light make it fluffy make it fun make it just be very silly things but the two pranks that they did were both extreme and not funny in my own opinion now like i said maybe I have a very terrible sense of humor but but those pranks were not funny pranks at all to me anyway Trey, i don't know what you guys think about the whole situation do you think that his prank towards her was funny or was not uh, nice do you think her own prank towards him was horrible was not nice or do you think it was not that deep i would love to hear your own opinion about this whole situation i would also love to hear your own opinion about um couples pranking each other when they are in a relationship do you think it's a good thing do you think it should not be done do you think it's a good thing do you think it adds an element of fun and laughter to the relationship i would love to hear your thoughts about couple pranks so please leave your comment in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now if you want to be a member of this channel you can also click on the join button by the side of the subscribe button now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one Bye.